What's going on you guys? Local John 1812 back with yet another food review. And today we are live on location in the parking lot of Dunkin' Donuts. And we are reviewing a couple different items. Now, I don't know in the title if I'll put the brownie thing first or these, but I guess I could just put both of them in the title. But first I'll review the... It's a, what, what do they call it? Wake and wrap or what do they call that? Just an egg and cheese wrap. It's an egg and cheese bacon. wrap. Two for two. I got a receipt. Maybe I can find on there. But anyways, two for two guys right here. They're kind of small. I can already tell you that. They're like that. They're plain. Now I said add bacon and they added bacon. Unbelievable. For a dollar more. For a dollar more. So you get these little two wraps in the morning. They were basically two tortilla shells with an egg basically cut in half with a slice of cheese or two and some bacon, and they fold it. Now you can get these two for two like this. You get another one in the bag without bacon. If you add bacon, it's actually two for three. They didn't charge you a dollar per one. They only charged you an extra buck. So it seems pretty simple. But we came to Dunkin' Donuts just to get their donuts, and we seen that they had a uh, item there bright and early in the morning that was actually more food than just sugary donuts let me get out i'm because i got the uh i want to see if it says it right here hold on guys there's my receipt so i know what it's called oh it's just it's just a wrap Anyways, it's two for two, wrap, bacon. Egg. I was disappointed because I was hoping to see some type of fancy name like, the, you know, the small giant of wraps or something. I don't know, something weird. But, all right, guys. So, anyways, let's just review it. Let's just get to it and review it. Should we? Shall we? We get some of that egg. Okay. The egg is really good. Bacon's not chewy. It's pretty good, guys. For a buck, you can't beat it. Now, if you get two of them, they're two for two. But I don't know if you just got one, would they not give you for a buck? You know, I don't know. I didn't look at the bottom corner. Usually they'll say. I think it was 99 cents. 99 cents each. So, yeah. Not bad. I would definitely get the egg and cheese wrap. Especially two for two. They're small enough. You can get two of them. You wouldn't be cheating any diet. It would actually be pretty good. And then uh, add the bacon. You can add bacon, sausage, or ham for an extra dollar to both of them. That's it. So, it would become two for three. I thought it was just bacon and ham. Mm-mm. There was sausage, too. Oh. Now, I asked the lady, we come to try your donuts, right? So, I said, what's your favorite or your, like, most popular donut right now for, you know, the newest one limited? She said it would be the brownie crumble. Bad. Ba brownie battered, battered crumble donut. Now, I don't know if it has anything inside. I do know I have to share it with camera mom. So, I have to tear it in half. So, we're going to find out if there's anything inside. And guess what? There is. Look at this as we open it. That's the brownie batter. Camera mom will take the smaller piece. I don't know that would be true. I'm going to put that back down in there. All right. There's the inside. There's the brownie batter. There's the crumble pieces of brownie, would you say, on top. Uh, it is a, almost like a, what kind of donut would you say that is? Just a yeast donut. A yeast donut. Let's, I'm just anxious to taste it. Here we go. I want to get into it. Ready? We've never had Dunkin' Donuts, everyone. Lost a piece. You're about to lose another piece. 
Oh man. All right, guys. It's good. Right? It's good. But I think it should be warmed up or something. I mean, I I don't know. I'm just I don't know if you can warm up your donuts in there or not. I didn't ask about that. It's okay. I've had decent donuts from a couple other places, especially a local place we have here called the Donut Bank, and I think their donuts are better. If this was supposed to be the representation of their newest donut that's probably like the best right now, Donut Bank is better. So, anyways, now on the brownie battered crumbled donut, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I give it a solid 7. It's pretty good. Didn't blow my mind away. I would buy it again if I was near this area. Wanted some donuts for the morning, I would. Now, let me put that back down in the bag real quick. I'll eat it here in a second. For the um, egg and cheese wrap that you can add bacon or ham or sausage to, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I give it a solid 7 as well. So far, Donut Bank is hit 7s all over the place. Now, as you guys know... You mean Dunkin' Donuts at 7s. Yeah, sorry. Dunkin' Donuts. I got Donut Bank on my mind. They have really good coffee there and really good donuts. So I'm not saying that they're better, but sometimes you can't teach an old dog a new place to eat. Or take New tricks. New... Well, we're not doing a trick here. We're eating. So they put my cream and sugar in there for me. I got regular coffee here. This is a small... Wasn't it like a buck sixty nine for this small? Yeah, something like that. Okay, see, and the price point's not very good for me either for Dunkin' Donuts, but we'll try their coffee. This may save the day. This may finally get them higher than a seven rating on the local John food review scale. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Guys. The coffee's halfway between good and slightly it wants to be watered down. Okay, so what that means is your first taste is a good taste. I'm not lying to you. As the going down taste... It tastes like watered down, like watered down, like wheat coffee. So it tastes like real strong, hits you in the mouth, tastes real good. And then as you start to swallow, it goes, I'm weak again. And then it's nasty. But I'm going to say this, because since the first taste is so good, first impressions go a long way. I'm going to give Dunkin' Donuts coffee on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. And since we had two 7s and an 8, I will rate Dunkin' Donuts as a whole for tasting variety of things they have to offer and tasting their coffee. A 7.5 out of 10. One being worse, ten being the best. I give Dunkin' Donuts, just on my first visit, a 7.5 out of 10. Guys, if you're near a Dunkin' Donuts, I would suggest you walk in and try these things yourself. Try some different things. Try their coffee. It wasn't that bad price for everything we got. We got two of those uh, wraps too. And a coffee and a donut. And we only spent $6.42. That's not too bad. So the price was there. So you know what? Rethinking it, I give Dunkin' Donuts a solid 8. Because I do kind of like your prices. That's very good. And maybe the coffee's just whoever made it this morning or something. But I think the overall actual taste of the coffee that they use is good. Maybe just someone didn't put it in a pot right or something. I don't know. But anyways, it's not that bad. I'll finish drinking it. I wish they had a bigger cup for a buck sixty nine. That's what hurts the coffee. Look at this. This is bigger than some toddler's hand. You know what I'm saying? Small. I swear McDonald's kitty the, cup is bigger than that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So, all right, guys. That's all I got for today. Soon my new camera will be here. We'll be doing more reviews then it actually inside the restaurants because it's going to be a 360 cam. And I'd like to be able to show off the camera. So, don't forget to like subscribe, comment, and share. And until next time, guys, please go out and try these things. Be safe. 
and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys.